So this a uh, little bit of backstory here before I go completely into this video. Somebody gave me a coupon, an employee coupon, that can be used at several of the things that are ran by Mammoth Mountain Ski Area. And um, they give these tickets out to the employees to give to their friends and family. Um, they have them numbered, so they're not easy to, you know, counterfeit or anything. Um, but for whatever reason, when I got up there today, now I'm sure they do this to everybody. They tell me, oh no, you see all this information on the back? All of this needs to be filled out or we don't accept these. So I drove all the way up there, fought to get into the parking, wasted the gas, um, only to be told I couldn't use the ticket. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm still real thankful to the person who gave me the ticket, but I'm really disappointed that I couldn't ride the gondola. And so you're going to hear my disappointment um, quite verbally with a few cuss words, so if those bother you, you might want to just tune out right now. The bottom line is, if they're going to give these tickets out to their employees to give to people, then they should just honor the fucking things. Because I'm, I know I'm not the only person. They probably have at least 100 people a year show up there with those tickets only to find out that they're not filled out or not filled out properly or not filled out completely. And then they tell the people, oh no, you can't use that ticket, hoping that we'll just spend cash anyway. It kind of seems like a, almost like a bait and switch type ploy. But the real, the, what it really comes down to is the gondola, the golf course, the downhill mountain biking area. It doesn't cost them anything to have one extra person on those. The gondola that I was going to take, it's got to run up and down that mountain all day long, even if those um, gondola cars are empty. So for them to piss off potential return customers by pulling that kind of a thing on them is just not, not really right. And, um, and, uh, they're going to lose a lot of, uh, repeat business because of that. I know I'm surely not going to spend any more money there. So Mammoth Mountain can go fuck itself. I'll never spend another dime to help this place make one red cent. They gave me a free coupon for a free gondola ride. It's not expired. I get all the way up here and they won't accept it because it needed somebody's signature on the back or something. I don't know. But if they gave me the thing to begin with, then they should have fucking honored it. So this place can suck my fucking dick. Fuck you, Mammoth Mountain. And fuck everybody that goes here. Oh, I've left Mammoth Mountain. Still a little pissed off about that, but fuck them. There's a lot of other places I can spend my money. Um, if you're going to put tickets out, free tickets, then you should fucking honor them. I have no bullshit because somebody didn't sign it or something. It shouldn't need to be signed. If you're going to give your employees tickets to give their friends, you should just limit them, number them, know who you gave them to, and just accept them. You don't fucking take it out on the customers. I'll never spend a dime at that fucking mountain again. Anyways, we're here at a place called Earthquake Fault. Halfway up the mountain. I have no idea what the hell it is. Um, but since I almost used up all my gas driving up here, we're going to walk down and look at the sign and see if it's anything worth looking at. Well, here's the little pathway leading down to the sign. Sorry about the shaky camera. Hopefully, when I get a OnePlus 2, that image stabilizer will help out immensely with this. <clears throat> I see a fence down there, so that must have something to do with it. Oh, this is a real fault. Okay, I remember reading about this. Now I'm glad I stopped. I still say fuck Mammoth Mountain, though. <laughs>
I really want to go down there. I just know there's gold and people's cell phones and jewelry and change and all kinds of things. I wouldn't be surprised if someone's flown a drone down there and crashed it. You'd totally need climbing skills and be able to repel to get down there and back up. I don't have the gear and I'm a little bit afraid of heights, but I would really, really, really like to see what's at the bottom of this. It goes for quite a ways, but I don't think we're going to walk all the way along it. I don't know. Maybe we will. What the hell? I'm still really pissed at the mountain, if you guys can't tell. I'll be cussing about this for months. I'm not mad at the guy that gave me the free pass. That's still awesome. I still thank him. But I'm mad that the mountain wouldn't accept it. And I'm kind of mad that they had kind of a shitty attitude about it. Well, we'll see what they think when I put it on YouTube and put them on blast. That seems to be the easier way in. Or on that side. This would be the path down in there if somebody was really determined to go down to the bottom. There's signs saying you can't. And fences to stop you. But apparently you could at one point because there's a bench here. Well, I'm glad we stopped here. Because at least this way the... The trip up the mountain wasn't completely a waste of gas. I was really looking forward to the gondola. I'm going to totally like put this video on Mammoth Mountain's Facebook page. Telling them to go fuck themselves and see what they think. They'll probably block me and that's fine. I don't need to patronize businesses that put out fake coupons to lure people in thinking that you'll spend the money when you get to the top. And I would have. I would have spent the money when I got to the top. Except they wouldn't take a check. I didn't have cash. Credit cards maxed out, so my loss is their loss. Just as I was saying, nobody's supposed to go in there and there's somebody in there. <laughs> Well, maybe there's not all kinds of lost stuff if it's that easy. We're going to cross this little bridge and head back to the RV and go get a campsite while we can, if we can.